Yes, Mrs. Hazel, yes. I'm just about to do it now. Yes, the art competition for PYP5, yeah, I'm just doing it now. So, just as Mrs. Hazel was reminding me, she said, Mr. Lawler, don't forget the PYP5 art competition. You know that there were some amazing entries. Yes, so our first art project from Unit 6 was to make a sculpture about an animal of your choice. Let's see what we got. And the winners are... In third place is Gabriel, Leonardo and Valentina. Congratulations. Really amazing work from you guys. In second place, who is it going to be? Is it going to be you? It's going to be Guillermo Rodriguez with his amazing pipoca, popcorn, snake. Wow, that was super cool, Guy. And he's it's got beans and popcorn. Amazing work, Guy. And the winner is, hold on, children. Now it's going to get exciting. And the winner in first place is, drum roll, let me hear it. Matteo Germano is the winner. I don't believe it. He's amazing. Bear bread. Well done, kids Opa. let's see what's happening here where's my okay so we have uh let's see okay we have a little minor technical problem here but i'm gonna get back on track so congratulations mateo uh for your excellent baking so cute i bet it was hard to eat him but let us know mateo if he still exists or if he only exists in the depths of your belly okay so well done mateo and other entries for the competition last week were michelle's penguin uh the elephant from gabriel which came in third place uh, the creative process, Dominique shared the whole process with us. Uh, Isabella Stefanos baked rhinoceros. Uh, Jean Gabriel and Mateo's bear, we saw Filippo's turtle biscuits, delicious. Isabella's little piggy. Jose made this really cool fox. Matez Versalino's hybrid mixture between a horse and a bird, or just maybe a horse with a small head. Uh, elephants by Pietro. Melted elephants by the looks of things, but very good work, Pietro. Pietro. Elena Scaffs. Little smiley creature. I love horses, Isabella Sales. Well done, Isabella. Guillermo's second place entry, Leonardo's third place entry, Julia Huda's red elephant. Am I right? I don't know. More elephants, Selena. Valentina's little pandas. Oh. Fregi's dolphin. Isn't that super duper cool? Wow. Amazing job, Fregi. More amazing sculptures. These ones are not part of the competition, okay? But I'm still marvelous. Leonardo's dog. Arthur's, wow, amazing Arthur. You should have put it into the competition. Amazing dolphin. Laura, Laura made the giraffe. Well done, Laura. Sophia, wow, a little pom-pom chick. Pedro Ferro, wow, cool, Pedro. That looks like he's made out of, um, how do you call it? Uh, icing, ice, uh, sugar. I can't remember what it's called. Pasta Americano. Wow, cool, Pedro. Lucas Belli's bottled fish with a banana head. Cool, Lucas. 
Guilherme. Wow, gay, amazing. Let me move myself out of the way out here. I'm uh, getting in the way of all these amazing pieces of art. Catarina Dutras. Clay? Fair? I don't know. Now, what's happening this week is going to be our second art project. And we can do a competition if you guys like again. So, art project number two is going to be to make a collage. What is a collage, Mr. Lawler? Look at the picture, children. But let me show you some more pictures to see what it is. What is a collage? A collage is lots of little bits of paper which are stuck together to make the, an image of something. You see an owl and a tree, a fish and a fox. Fox reminds me of Filippo's, oh sorry, Jose's piece of work. And a boat and a butterfly. Now, I've chosen pictures which are linked to our unit, okay? Animals and the environment. Because here is your challenge for your collage. Not to simply do an animal. To do an animal and link it to dangers to living things, okay? As you see in our central idea. Now, for example, I found this image of a giraffe. Then I thought, okay, how could I mix a giraffe? How could I get this idea of being endangered? Okay, he's an endangered species. Not critically endangered like some of the animals we talked about, but still the numbers of giraffes on this planet are dwindling. That means getting really smaller and smaller. So I thought, well, maybe I could mix what we call a crosshair. What's a crosshair? That's a crosshair because these animals are being hunted, unfortunately. And I thought, well, maybe a crocodile. If a cro I found this very cool um, collage of a crocodile. And then I thought, well, if a cro how could a crocodile be at risk? Do you realize that they make shoes out of crocodile skins? Not very nice, is it? Then I, okay, let's have a look at ocean pollution, which was something else we focused on. Look at this one, already done. This one, amazing, okay. You see a fish which is swallowing all that junk that's in the ocean, all that plastic. Um, and this whale here, I really like this idea. Now, your finished pieces of work are going to look something like this, okay. These ones are finished pieces of work, okay. Not by PYP5 kids, by uh, older kids than that, but you guys... You're at home, you got lots of time, you got some of you got your mums and dads helping out, so do a special job. Deforestation, obviously we're gonna have trees in it. Then I thought, what could represent something about deforestation, trees being cut down? And then I went for a slightly more artistic idea, which would be a crying eye. Now you'd have to merge the two of those ideas, put together both of those ideas of the tree with the crying eye to make a collage on one piece of art okay okay good kids that is our challenge to you guys for your art project this week now um follow the instructions on the plan and you should be crystal clear about what to do okay guys best of luck with your artwork and we'll do another little competition for this piece as well okay See you later, kids.